This is 2003 AP Physics B um, question. Um, and it says modify. There were a few questions, and this is probably one of the um, second questions that they sometimes remake questions on AP exam are harder than the ones that they give. So I'm not sure if this was the remake one. An airplane accelerates uniformly from rest. A physicist passenger holds up a thin string of neglectable mass to which she has tied her ring, which has the mass of M. She notices that as the plane accelerates down the runway, the string makes an angle theta with the vertical as shown above. In the space below, draw the free body diagram of the ring showing and labeling all the forces um, present. So we have the tension force. And we have the gravity force, mg. So that would be for A. So for B part, they say the plane reaches a take off speed of 65 meters per second, accelerating for a total of 30 seconds. So I know initial velocity was zero, and the final velocity is 65 meters per second, and the time it took is 30 seconds. So for, um, for B, determine the minimum length of the runway needed. Uh, I'm gonna do my B over here. So acceleration is equal to change of the velocity over the time, the final velocity is 65, and the initial was 0, and it took 30 seconds. So I can find that the acceleration is equal to 1.17. So the acceleration is equal to 2.17 meters per second squared. And to find the length, I could use average velocity times the time. I didn't even need to find the acceleration in this case. The average velocity is 0 plus 65 divided by 2 times the time, which is 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And the distance needed gives me 975 meters. 975 meters. Okay, so that would be the for point for part B. For part C, determine the angle that the string makes with the vertical during the acceleration of the plane before it leaves the ground. So I found the acceleration and I can write my um, forces. So this is, let me look at the graph one more time so you can see it. You do see where theta is? So when I come back, I have t cosine, t cosine, and I have t sine. So I can write my equations on x and y axis. Um, t sine theta is equal to mass times acceleration. And acceleration is in this direction, right? The airplane and accelerating in that direction when the ring is moving in the back backward. Um, t cosine theta minus um, mg is equal to zero because there's no vertical acceleration, so I can just say mg. Then if I divide one by the other, I get 
so we need to find angle right I get tangent theta is equal to so I cancel my T's I cancel my M's um, A over G and I just found what A is equal to to 17 so theta is equal to arc tangent or tangent with a negative one it's not the power it's just negative one inverse function on your calculator and a is 217 divided by g which is 10. so i have to take arc tangent of this angle and that will be about 12.5 degrees and that is all that needed for this question that wasn't difficult at all 2003 ap physics b question